Today I'm going to be talking about a perfume that is very similar, very, very similar, 98% similar to this one that is called Crystal Noir by Versace and this is the Eau de Toilette version and the perfume that I'm talking about is this one that is called Emery Al Lesas and it's by R. Al Safaram. If I'm not pronouncing the name correctly, don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to put the names of the perfume that I'm talking about down there in the description box. But let's Before start. keep going, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell. So I was saying that they are very similar. There are a few differences, but they're so tiny. To me, they are very, very similar, like really similar. Like if you put this one or this one on, I will say, I will think that you are wearing this one. No matter which one you actually put on, I will think, okay, are you wearing this? That's what I will ask. Are you wearing this? Is <laughs> how they close they are. So what is Crystal Noir uh, by Versace about? Let's uh, give a little summary about it. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's, it has a strong coconut smell with some flowers. It's a clean fragrance. It's a little sedan. It also has some amber and some cardamom and some ginger. But to me, this perfume is all about the coconut smell that I get in those flowers because the flowers do show up pretty well. So. The coconut here is beautiful. It's, to me, this is a sexy aroma. This perfume, even so, is an eau de toilette. It projects very well. It's nice and strong. And I really like it. I think it's a sexy aroma. It's tropical because of the coconut, yes. But it's also sexy. I really, really enjoy this one. It's very beautiful, very pure. And it also has a clean vibe to it. Even so, it's sexy and flirty and all that. that it still has a clean aroma to it, a fresh aroma added to it. It's, it's a very, it's a piece of art. <laughs> I like it, I like it. I like but this one. But this one smells very similar to this one. Now, there are a few differences, but they are very minimum, very minimum to me. So what are they? In this one, the coconut smell is stronger compared to this one. And here, the flowery smell, you know, the flowers that you smell, is softer compared to this one. So here the flowers smell a little more and more pronounced, they show more in this in this perfume. But when it comes to the amber, when it comes to the ginger and all those no, the other notes to me, those bottles seem the same. I don't notice any different. I just notice the difference with the coconut and with the flowery aroma. That's it. Now they are gray aromas. When it comes to duration, um here, the duration of my skin is about eight hours, and here I notice the same eight hours. Now here, as the perfumes, you know, get closer to the eight hours, the perfume is a little more like a skin scent. It's not like it's gone or anything like that, but it, it starts becoming more like a skin scent versus here. No, it, it gets strong because I was wearing both, both at the same time, comparing, you know, one in one arm, the other one in the other arm. And here, when it comes to eight hours, the perfume seems to be stronger here compared to this one. So that will be another different there. But when it comes to the smell in general, they are very similar. Now, when to wear a fragrance like this? This, to me, is a nice fragrance that... It has some fresh, uh, <coughs> fresh in it, <coughs> sorry, a fresh buy going on. It has a, a little of a clean buy going on, but at the same time, it's flirty. Yeah, at the same time, I wouldn't say sexy, sexy, you no, know, but it has some of that. It's flirty, you know. It, it has a little, je ne sais quoi, going on. I, I think this is a beautiful fragrance. I really like it. It's, that coconut smell together with those flowers and some of the spices there, I think they make a really good job here. And here, I get the same aroma. I get the same smell or one that is very close, very, very close to it, very similar to it. And I like I it. think those are good fragrances to wear to work or to wear to when you want to do things that are going to be kind of important, not very important, but you want to smell really good, you want to be presentable. That one I think is a good occasion to wear something like this. Now for a day or something like that, maybe we'll use something more warm on because warm on perfume seems to be better light by men. I don't know why, but that's what I know. <laughs> you know, like my husband, he doesn't like perfumes really. But if I put some that is a little gourmand, has some gourmandage, 
uh, touch in it then he like it he makes a compliment so but this one i think it's perfect for going out could you wear this in summer maybe in summer would be a little too much because those two of these are are, are a little heavy so i will not wear it myself when it's hot outside because oh it depends on you you know sometimes it's hot outside and i put it on you know a very strong perfume just because i feel like it but i think it's better where when it's not so hot outside maybe in spring fall winter that will be fine but if it's really hot i would probably not wear those outside because it will be a little it can be a little too much because these two are strong fragrances. So when it comes to projection, it's pretty good. Now, would I put an H uh, frame for this perfume? No, I think anybody can wear even if you are a younger or an adult woman. I mean, either way, I think this is a fragrance that is very general when it comes to H. No, I don't think really that there is an H for a perfume, but I know some people do. So if you are wondering, that's why I mentioned it to me. I think this is a fragrance that anybody can wear. If you are very young, you know, like you are in your 15, 16, early 20s, you might not like it. But from the 20s and later, I think you're fine. I think you would like some fragrance. Another perfume that I noticed that it smells very similar to each other is this one that is called Good Girl by Calorina Herrera. And this one that is called Being Hooran. Those two smell very similar to each other and I did a video about them and I'm gonna put that video next. So if you want to, you can just click and go watch it. Thank you very much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye.